Right here, right now, early 2018, the Mattel Disney Cars diecast line is in a very strange place. There's stuff being released in the United States and nowhere else. But then again, there's stuff being released everywhere except the United States. What's going on? In this video, I'm going to try and break it down and help everyone understand exactly what is going on and try and explain if it will be corrected in the future because right now, right here, the distribution is all over the place. Stuff's flying across the globe and it is pretty crazy for us Cars collectors. So welcome back guys to another Cars 3 video. Hope you guys are doing well and let's just get right into the discussion. So you probably noticed first Stu Scattershields over here because he's the coolest car on the table right now, at least in my opinion. Have you seen him before? If you're an avid Cars collector like myself, you probably have. He's on the 2017 Cars 3 poster and yet, if you live in America, you probably have not had the chance to find him in a store. Same thing with these deluxes. Jocko Flacco Mac, semi only, and the Lightyear Blimp. If you have found them in the US, then please tell me because you yourself, my friend, would be the first. These deluxes, this case, the last one for the Cars 3 year, is only being found in Mexico and Europe. Now, I don't quite understand because I love Stu Scatter Shields and the blimp's pretty cool as well. At least Jocko Flacco Mac, you can get with the hauler in that set that is exclusive to Walmart stores, which is one of the things that's only available in the US and not really anywhere else. I don't get it. Do you guys understand what's going on here? Why is Mattel depriving some people and letting other people have other stuff? I really don't understand. But it seems that the US has skipped over that deluxe case because people are now already finding the 2018 deluxes. So these here are pretty much canceled for America and other places like Canada as well. Very disappointing. It makes me a just collector that wants to get everything have to pay more because I had to go to Amazon Germany to get those. Here we have another example, the Radiator Springs Classic line. This is exclusive to Toys R Us stores, the line as a whole. But with the recent news of Toys R Us kind of financially slipping down the hill, it's very likely that they will shut down many stores, which they actually are, meaning that Mattel won't want to invest more and more into them with an exclusive line. However, it's not the same exactly for the entire world. It's more so the American branch because Toys R Us is so international. It's one of the most international stores in the world. They're in Canada, Europe, South America, Australia, Asia. They're everywhere. And in the United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia, you can find these singles, at least to my knowledge, pretty abundantly, especially some of the more common ones like Fillmore or McQueen and Ramon. And that's what we'll be focusing on mainly today. I got these from a great friend in the UK, Danny Dobson. He also watches my videos. I certainly appreciate that. Thank you, Danny, for helping me out with these. I also have some other stuff on the way from him that won't hit the United States either. Have you guys seen these in the US if you are in America? The characters themselves definitely probably seem familiar to you. Denise Beam. I mean, break drum. You guys have seen these before. Bruno Motoro. But on these card box, only available in the UK. I don't get it. What about the 2018 blind bags for the mini racers? So far, only available outside the US. On the flip side of that, there's plenty of stuff here that's only in America, like Jocko Flacco Mac Haller. I feel very bad for people outside the US that really want this amazing hauler, but just can't find it themselves. Then you have Steve Karski, one of the oddball haulers that's only available in Canada at the moment. So the question is, will all these things eventually be available globally, universally, everywhere? 
And I don't think so at all, especially with this Toys R Us stuff right here and the deluxes because they've already moved on to 2018. This stuff here is 2017. So it is just all spread out across the globe. And I don't exactly know why Mattel is doing this. Why do some places get stuff before the US and never shows up in the US? I just don't understand. If you guys have an opinion on this, please let me know. This is kind of a unique video on my channel. It's more of a discussion, like question type of video where I wanted to inform people about this issue and maybe bring some attention to it that Mattel will maybe change things or whatever because they see this video, they see that it gets attention and then hopefully they can alter and rectify the distribution because it lies in that. Stuff goes to Australia, but doesn't come to Canada, for example. You know, you have all these different combinations. I really don't get it. Check out this commercial here for a Philippine Toys R Us. They have all these deals and sales on these singles, and we're not seeing that here in the U.S., I don't want to be redundant here, so we're going to move on and kind of enjoy what these Radiator Spring singles have to offer, and I really hope they hit the U.S. eventually, but I'm kind of doubting it at the moment here. So, of course, you have the Cars Free logo there with Willie's Butte in the background at dusk or dawn. Looks pretty sweet. Primer Lightning McQueen, although this one is different from the one in the 10-pack that was available at Toys R Us as well. It has a matte finish versus a glossy finish, and he has a little frown on his face versus the happy smiling expression. Primer Lightning McQueen, Premier Flash McQueen, Rayo McQueen, so those are the international names. I like the wood name tag with Radiator Springs right there. On the back, you have a picture of him, the stock prototype image, along with a bunch of different languages. Look at all these languages here. International packaging which definitely seems to be now a permanent fixture in America as well, whereas previously we only got U.S. English card only packages. Here we have Intro Ramon, also known as Ramon, Radiator Springs again. There you go. This is probably my favorite out of the bunch here because it's just this beautiful blue Ramon that we have yet to see released any other way. I will do a video on it. You can see that the blister is cracked right here. And I have another one that I got from Canada. So this is from the UK, this is from Canada. It looks like the packages are identical though, which makes sense because they just distribute the international packages everywhere. We also have Sally with Tattoo, although this is different from the previous Sally with Tattoo from 2014. Sally Avec Tatouage, Sally Tatuda, or actually Tatuada, all of these characters, although very familiar to us, are different in some way. We also have Flo here, who's only known as Flo in every language. You can see that she actually has a different expression from her usual release, which is why I definitely had to get these, because they're just so cool. I love little changes like this. You can even see it on the back here, the change in the expression there. I think Fillmore has the best change in expression because he looks just like he did in Cars 1, looking up at the stoplight, seeing it blink. Whereas before we got kind of a weird, I don't know, emotionless Fillmore. And now you have his hippie kind of usual look. Whoa, don't drop him now. You can see it there on the back a little bit better. And I don't know if I'll open this one. I do kind of want to get multiples of these before I start cracking them open. So Ramon will definitely be the first one. So again, let me know what you guys think about this issue. Do you see it as a big problem in your collecting scope of things? Does it make it harder for you to get what you want? Because now you have to go to online and pay exorbitant prices for stuff that you should be able to find for like four or six dollars in your local store. For me, that's definitely the case. And since I am such a big collector, I have to go to those sources because I just love cars and want to make sure I have a complete collection. But I know it definitely discourages some collectors that really stick to finding stuff that they want in stores. So 
completely understand that. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this rather different video. I don't even know what I'm going to call it. I don't know what the thumbnail will be. I just felt like talking about this because I've had all these things coming into my house lately that I've had to sign for or I've missed it and had to go up to the post office with the little sheet and then get it there because everything coming from a different country has to be signed for. I've done this like three, four times in the past couple weeks here since I've had all this stuff. My wallet, my PayPal account has definitely been hurting as well. All this stuff from Amazon Germany was pretty reasonable, although still around $60. I'll put the links down in the description below if you yourself would like to have a shot at getting them. I definitely recommend it since they probably will never hit the United States. And if they do, then that's awesome and most likely would be at a Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls type of store, which are your typical discount stores that offer stuff that the main retailers decline since they've already moved on to 2018 stuff. So thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow, most likely. Can't guarantee a video, although I think there will be since it is a birthday. So I'll definitely see you tomorrow then, for sure. Bye now.